Ah, Urjika, my good man. Would you be so kind as to... Ah, oh, isn't this a pleasant surprise? I wish you had sent word ahead. I thought I was having visions for a moment there. Slow and steady, Raha and I have been compiling old records of the students' activities. We located several accounts in the archives of Numenon and added them to the collection we recovered from the Isle of Val. And judging by the progress we've made thus far, sorting this pile will keep us occupied for days to come. But what brings you to the Annex, my friend? Surely you haven't come all this way just to watch us shuffle dusty papers around? The treasure vault of Alzadar III. And you're looking for companions to join you on this expedition. Oh, I would dearly love to accompany you, of course, but I'm afraid I'm committed to another task. On the subject of which, I had hoped to ask for your assistance. Then again, it's not so urgent that it can't wait until you've returned. You should go, Raha. I'll stay here and mind the shop, as it were. Are you sure? I'd hate to leave you short-handed. I'm sure. Just try to be back before too many moons have passed. Well, I guess we're off on another adventure already. Have you asked anyone else to come along? Then might I suggest we invite your Stola? Ever since the Scions disbanded, she spent most of her time cloistered within the Great Google Library, hoping to piece together a method to traverse the rift. It would seem, however, that whatever wisdom she sought there was not to be found. She arrived in Charlian the other day. We spoke briefly before she began her search of Numenor. Considering what you've told us of Alzadal's extraordinary feats, I do believe your Stola would be more than interested to hear what you have to say. Splendid! Then let us head to the archives at once. Wait before you go. I have another potential member to volunteer, if you've room to spare. Uriange. He sent the students a request for materials, you see. Treatises on the architecture of treasure vaults and the like. From what I can gather, the Loperitz are looking to make improvements to their own creation, and wish to learn more about how we build things down here. So, why not take Urianger with you? Let him study Alzadal's legacy firsthand. None can deny the benefit of seeing something with your own eyes. If our expedition leader has no objections, I say we extend Urianger an invitation once we've spoken with your Stola. Safe travels, you two. But don't forget, I'd still like your help with that other matter I mentioned. Right. Then it's off to the library.
I've never known Yostola to doze off in the middle of research before. Close my eyes for one moment. Oh. How long have you two been here? Nor did I want to fall asleep. I must have been studying for two, three days straight before exhaustion finally claimed me. As you know, I've been researching ways to travel from the source to one of its reflections. Well, looking for hints, at least. I don't expect to find a simple set of instructions tucked away in some dark corner of the library. So I've been skimming through the stacks, hoping to uncover even a partial mention of any similar feats in the past. A means to travel between worlds exists, and you can be sure I will find a way to employ it. So I promised Runar, but twould seem I've set myself a nigh impossible task. You needn't be so hard on yourself. The leap I made with the Crystal Tower was not achieved in an afternoon. It was the culmination of a collective effort spanning generations. Oh, you think me discouraged. I assure you, tis quite the opposite. A daunting challenge and the time to sink my teeth into it. I feel like a fresh-faced student again. A scholar in her element. Indeed. Was there something else you wished to ask of me? Alzadal is no minor figure in Harnish history. And much is known about his family. But this is the first I've heard of a descendant surviving a trip to another world. If those tales are true, then he may have left behind some clue as to how it was accomplished. An invitation to delve into one of the world's lingering mysteries. As if I could refuse. And whence do we embark upon this expedition? Akiali, by ship. But before that, we thought to extend an invitation to Urianje as well. He was in Thaumazane, last we heard. Then by all means, let us recruit him and be on our way.
Ah, our illustrious champion. Cloaked in the mantle of the common explorer, fame set aside in thy pursuit of simple adventure. I am told a new expedition is in the offing. And thee, as ever, thou art the picture of strength. You've been keeping yourself busy, I trust? True to our plan, Thancred and I embarked upon a pilgrimage of sorts, with an eye for gauging the state of those lands through which we passed. Our travels were interrupted, however, by a request for aid from our beferred lunar allies. As you may recall, the Loperets had been seeking new purpose for the Moon, another role through which it might serve to benefit mankind. The Forum hath been working to advise them in this endeavor, but I return to offer mine own counsel. And this has what to do with treasure vaults, exactly? Ah, you have learned of my predicament from Mistress Kryle. I know not whence they acquired such knowledge, but the Loperets now stand convinced that adventurers delight in treasure hunts. Thus, with their newly built wonderland of riches and mystery, do they hope to entice all manner of daring delvers to the moon. So earnest and innocent was their desire to bring joy to the world that I found myself powerless to refuse them my cooperation. But what of you, my friends? Why are you come to Labyrinthos? Fascinating. This is indeed a most fortuitous opportunity. I should be honored to accept thine invitation. How long hath it been, I wonder, when last our actions were not impelled by fate or desperation? I, though I cherish the Scion's accomplishments, Tis pleasant to not have the weight of the world upon our shoulders for a change. Counting Istinian, we number five now, yes? Without knowing what traps or perils await unwary feet, we may be wise to refrain from recruiting others. I agree. Between us, we should have the skills to handle whatever situation may arise. Shall we be on our way? What, no time to spare a word for the grizzled old bard? All is well, I trust. A wasted trip, I'm afraid. I'd hoped to catch up with a former mentor while you parleyed with the rabbits, but it seems our paths were not to cross. That's because we didn't travel by experimental etherite. It's astounding what a lack of nausea does for one's sense of well-being. In any case, as we made our way around Ilzabad, we saw that much of the continent was in various stages of chaos. A certain amount of disorder is to be expected. The final days are over, and the people no longer have a common threat binding them together. That's the thing with these fledgling troubles, eh? You need to keep an eye out, lest they mature into full-grown headaches. So, for what reason have so many esteemed personages seem fit to gather?
Beneath the waters of the bounty, you say? I see you've already stolen away my traveling partner with the promise of unexplored ruins and scholarly glory. Nay, it is not for mine own indulgence, but rather the fulfillment of my commitment to the Loperates. Ah, of course. And if you have a Stinian rounding out your group, you'll likely have all the members you need. Feeling left out? I could put in a good word for you, if you like. We may have been released from our obligations, but I'll never be free of that merciless wit of yours, will I? In all seriousness, it is best I sit this one out. Too many former scions consorting with one another might be seen as a cause for concern in certain quarters. I'll return to my usual reconnaissance and scout out the situation in the Far East. Feel free to share if you come across any interesting revelations. Till we meet again. Shall we also hasten our departure? Sir Estinian will wonder what hath become of us. <laughs>